Okay, I don't even know where to start. I've been looking at it a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is take it nice and easy. I'm gonna have to cut all these little strings. I'm gonna take out all the aluminum wiring and hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to think about the best way to approach this. A couple of options I'm thinking of is just like a regular stator. I'll cut everything apart on both sides and just leave these, these little strips in the middle. And either I can hammer them out, pull them out, and I doubt I'll be able to pull them out. The other one is maybe grinding and cutting into each one of these arms and seeing if that'll give me a little bit of play to either hammer it in and pull the whole windings out or to knock the, the slugs right out. Uh, I, I'm not sure yet, might have to play around with this, but uh, whew, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so apparently all these uh, cables are epoxied in there. Uh, everything's nice and tight, nice and crunchy, and there's layers of glue on it. So it's going to take a little while, um, but I'll keep chipping away at it, and uh, eventually we'll have it uh, all taken out. Okay, got those cables out. They went in there pretty deep. Uh, with all the other wiring on the outside and it's all pretty stiff with the epoxy like I mentioned so I'm gonna wait till this is out uh, so I could pull the aluminum out from the outside uh, and see what else is in there but uh, here's what we have out of there so far and while I was in there I figure I might as well try picking a little bit with the pry bar and without doing anything it started peeling the copper right out of the stator coil. So uh, I'm gonna keep going that way and uh, see how far that gets me. And if I don't have to cut or hammer anything out, all the better. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, slow in process, but I think I got the trick. Uh, find the top strands, pull the top strands, and it rips out this uh, this paper casing, or plastic casing. And then once that's gone, uh, just pick and choose the top strands, and it comes out pretty easy. So now that I have a little routine set, uh, I'm gonna crack open a couple of beers, have a nice comfy spot set up here, and uh, pull the rest of them out. I don't know how many days it's been. I ran out of resources a while ago. There's no more beer left in the whole garage. Somebody send some help. At this rate, uh, it was gonna take me well over eight hours just to strip the stator. So I started trying some different things to see if anything would make this stripping quicker. Uh, many of the things I tried worked on one or two bundles, but then it stalled the progress on any other bundle. Um, so the final method uh, I ended up using took a couple of aspects out of all the trials and all the failures and mashed them all together to get uh, the most efficient method to remove all the copper with the hand tools available. Uh, thanks to all the guys at ScrapMetalForum.com for bouncing around some ideas and methods to make this easier. Never mind. Found a case. We're good. So I've been at it for a couple of hours. <laughs> There's a lot of copper there. But uh, it's taken a long time. I tried a different, few different methods, cutting it and air hammering it down. Uh, didn't quite work. I think I'd have to cut both sides to see how it even goes, and that's taken a really long time. Uh, I tried doing a sawzall, see if maybe I can cut it and start splitting it. But man, that's packed tight, and and it will not budge. Uh, so what I what's been working kind of good for me now is now that I cleared up a couple. Of full channels I can put a pry bar or an air hammer in there opens up the these these little pathways and uh, then I'm able to use a pry bar and pull out the windings but 
I have to cut them as I take them out because if I take off the top layer, I can't get to the bottom layer. It was just one giant ring of copper. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at it. Um, see if maybe I can uh, come up with an ingenious way to, to do this a little bit faster with the tools I have on hand. And we'll see how it goes. So I've been cutting away to the inside of this ring with the air hammer and it's uh, coming along pretty well actually. Making chopping through that nice and easy. So I'm gonna keep going around. Uh, cut the whole rest of the ring off and uh, then we'll move on to pulling the coils from the other side with a crane. That wasn't so bad. A nice bundle. Satisfying. Oh, we have here ha, huh, an empty housing. And the result? Yeah, about three and a half feet of copper wire. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and uh, figure out how to weigh it. So the tally is in. Out of this big stator, we got a total of 190 pounds of copper. Took a little while to get to it, but I'm sure if I had to do it again with everything uh, I've learned, it uh, would go a lot faster. Still not a bad haul for a day's work. If we couple that with the 35 pounds we got out of the smaller stators, and the 200 pounds we got from the armature, we have a whopping total of 425 pounds of copper. All in all, not too bad for a weekend.